in theoretical probability distribution we have discussed what is the theoretical probability dis distribution and we have discussed there are three major methods for calculating theoretical probability distribution that is binomial distribution normal dist distribution and poisson distribution is over there in last video we have discussed how to expand the binomial distribution and what is the use of the binomial distribution is over there and how we can use pascal triangle to solve the binomial distribution and what is the formula for the binomial distribution we have discussed in last video the major formula is n p plus q raised to power n this is the formula for the binomial distribution and how we can expand p plus q raised to power small n we have discussed in our last video in today video we will having discussion uh, discussing some question related to the binomial distribution the very first question that is seven coin a person taking seven coins simultaneously and he tossed these seven coin up to 256 times he is taking seven coin tossing again he is taking seven coin then tossing he repeated this seven coin tossing up to 256 times now we are to calculate the x probability and expected frequency for that how many times there will be zero hit first one is zero hit it means 256 times we are tossing seven coins how many times we are getting no one head in any of the coin all coin having tail is over there so that is 256 p plus q raised to power 7 here n is equal to 7 r is equal to 0 because zero head is to over there So seven c zero p raised to power zero is Bernoulli theorem q raised to power seven, and this happened up to two fifty six times. This happened repeated to fifty two fifty six two fifty six times. So two fifty six multiply one multiply one by two raised to power zero one by two raised to power seven. So two fifty six divided by Two six six multiply one multiply one one upon twenty eight. So there is two chance in which we are having zero hit. So the expected probability, expected probability for two fifty two fifty six times if seven coin is tossing, the two chance is over there where we will we will get all tail no head is over there. Second. suppose suppose this question is we are to get six or more head second question six or more head it means n is equal to 7 r is equal to 6 or 7 six or more head it means we we may be having six head or we may be having seven head is over there so there will be 7c6 p raised to power 6 q raised to power 1 and 7c7 p raised to power 7 q raised to power 0 this is bernoulli theorem and this item repeated to 256 256 times so 256 that is 7 divided 1 1 by 2 raised to power 6 and 1 by 2 raised to power 1 Plus seven c one seven c seven that is one one by two raised to power seven and one by two raised to power zero. So two hundred fifty six seven divided one hundred twenty eight plus one divided one hundred twenty eight. So that two hundred fifty six multiply eight upon one hundred twenty eight. So that is sixteen. The probability of getting sixteen times we are having 
सिक्स और मोर देन हेड मोर देन सिक्स हेड इज ओवर देयर सो इन दिस टर्म इफ बाइनोमल थ्योरम क्वेश्चन इज ओवर देयर वी कैन सॉल्व दैट इज नॉट प्रॉब्लम एट ऑल द क्वेश्चन इज सेंग दैट सेवन कॉइन टॉसिंग अप अप टू टॉसिंग टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स टाइम्स वी आर टू गेट द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ सिक्स और मोर हेड इफ वी चेंज दिस लेस देन थ्री और लेस देन थ्री हेड सपोज माई अब वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग द एक्सपेक्टेड प्रॉबिलिटी थर्ड क्वेश्चन लेस देन थ्री हेड इट मीन्स हेड शुड बी जीरो हेड में बी वन हेड में बी टू सो फॉर जीरो हेड सेवन सी जीरो P रेस टू पावर जीरो Q रेस टू पावर सेवन फॉर वन हेड सेवन सी वन पी रेस टू पावर वन क्यू रेस टू पावर सेवन माइनस वन दैट इज सिक्स एंड फॉर टू हेड सेवन सी टू पी रेस टू पावर टू क्यू रेस टू पावर फाइव एंड दिस ऑल रिपीटेड टू टू फिफ्टी वन टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स टाइम्स सो वी आर हैविंग टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स वी विल हैविंग सॉलिंग multiply by 1 by 2 raised to power 7 plus 7 divided by 1 1 by 2 raised to power 1 1 by 2 raised to power 6 plus 7 multiply 6 divided 1 multiply 2 1 by 2 raised to power 7 and 1 by 2 raised to power 5 so 256 we will solve is 1 upon 128 because 2 raised to power 7 that is 128 if we multiply 2 multiply 2 4 5 6 7 so 7 times that is 128 is over there then we are having 7 divided by 1 raised to power 2 or 1 raised to power 2 6 and 1 7 that is 128 and here there will be 3 so 21 divided 128 Because one by two raised to power seven is one upon one hundred twenty-eight. Here, here we will see. Sorry, here seven is over there. So one hundred one upon one hundred twenty-eight. Here one by two raised to power one and one by two raised to power six. So six one point six plus one that is seven. So one hundred seven divided by one hundred twenty-eight. Here the power first the power is two and second power is five. So total is one hundred twenty-eight. So we are having two hundred fifty-six one plus seven plus twenty-one upon one hundred twenty-eight. So twenty-nine multiply two hundred fifty-six divided one hundred twenty-eight two times. So twenty-nine multiply by two. That is fifty-eight. So expected numbers. in which we are having zero less than less than 3 head we we may be having 58 times we we may be having less than 3 head okay suppose we are to calculate seven coins tossing up 256 times what get the probability of getting five or more head what we are having question is fourth question Five or more head. It means head may be five, head may be six, head may be seven. Five or more. It means it may be five, it may be six, it may be seven. So getting five head seven c five p raised to power five q raised to power two, or getting six seven c six p raised to power six q raised to power one, getting seven seven c seven. P raised to power seven, Q raised to power zero, and this all happened up to two hundred fifty-six times. Already we have given, so two hundred fifty-six we are having seven multiply six upon one multiply two, one by two raised to power here five and one by two raised to power seven. Seven divided by one by two raised to power six and one by two, and seven C seven the value of one one by two raised to power seven and one by two raised to power zero. So here two hundred fifty six three times so twenty one divided two raised to power here five or here two so we are having twenty one 
वन बै टू रेज टू पवर सेवन प्लस सेवन वन बै टू रेज टू पवर सेवन प्लस वन वन बै टू रेज टू पवर सेवन बिकॉज वन बै टू रेज टू पवर जीरो द वैल्यू विल वन सो वी आर हेविंग टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स ट्वेंटी वन अपॉन वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट प्लस सेवन अपॉन वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट प्लस वन अपॉन वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट सो वी आर हेविंग टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाई ट्वेंटी नाइन अपॉन वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट टू टाइम्स इट सो दैट इज फिफ्टी एट सो वी आर ऑल्सो द एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रिक्वेंसी इज फिफ्टी एट सो इन दिस मैनर वी मे बी हेविंग द क्वेश्चन if we the question are at least at least four head suppose question is at least one head at least one head that is one minus probability of zero head at least one head that is one minus probability of zero head okay so at least one head we we will calculate so the very first we will calculate the probability of zero head so 7c0 p raised to power 0 q raised to power 7 so 1 multiply 1 by 2 raised to power 0 1 by 2 raised to power 7 so that is 1 upon 28 okay so at least one head that is 1 minus probability of 0 so 1 minus 1 upon 128 so 127 upon 128 and mathematical expectation for that that is n 1 minus p 0 so 128 sorry 256 multiply 127 upon 128 so 127 multiply by 2 that is 254 so in this manner if binomial theorem is over there without any hesitation we can calculate the question what the question is asking we will go with the question certainly we are able to solve the problem of this suppose the question is asking at least 6 head at least 4 head suppose here we are we are to calculate at least four head it means the head may be four head may be five head may be six head may be seven at least four head it means minimum there should be four head so the head may be four head may be five head may be six or head may be seven so four head is over there seven c four p raised to power four then q seven minus four that is three seven c five p raised to power five then q raised to power two 7c6 p raised to power 6 then q raised to power 1 and 7c7 p raised to power 7 then q raised to power 0 at least for it and this happened capital n okay so 256 7 multiply 6 multiply 5 what on 1 2 3 1 by 2 raised to power 4 1 by 2 raised to power 3 plus 7 multiply 6 upon 1 multiply 2 1 by 2 raised to power 5 and 1 by 2 raised to power 2 7 divided by 1 1 by 2 raised to power 6 and 1 by 2 and plus 1 1 by 2 raised to power 7 and 1 by 2 raised to power 0 so 256 we will solve this so 35 upon 128 we already we solve this so that is 21 upon 128 7 upon 128 and last one 1 upon 128 so 256 lcm is 128 so 35 plus 21 plus 7 plus 1 so we will add all this 35 plus 21 plus 7 plus 1 that is 64 so 256 multiply 64 upon 128 this is two times so that is 128 so the expected frequency how many times there may be at least four head so the probability of getting at least four head is 128 times we are having the probability of getting four head 
so in this type of the questions we may be having from the binomial distribution sometimes this question also giving the do the expansion of this the second type of the question we are having from the binomial distribution that is find expand the binomial we are having the question 128 128 1 by 2 raised plus 1 by 2 raised to power 5 We, we are to get the expansion of the binomial distribution. This question, this question are having expand the binomial. The question is 128, 1 by 2 raised, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 raised to power 5. So the answer will be 128. But as we know that P plus Q raised to power 5 is P5 plus 5 P4Q plus 10 p3 q2 plus 10 p2 q3 plus 5 q4 and last one is q5 already we have got the expansion of the binomial distribution in the last video we have discussed how we can expand this binomial distribution is over there if the question are asking 128 expand the binomial distribution 1 by 2 1 by 2 raised to power 2 so here the p is 1 by 2 and the q is also 1 by so we are having 1 by 2 raised to power 5 plus 5 1 by 2 raised to power 4 and 1 by 2 raised to power 1 plus 10 1 by 2 raised to power 3 1 by 2 raised to power 2 plus 10 1 by 2 raised to power 2 1 by 2 raised to power 3 plus 5 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 raised to power 4 and last 1 by 2 raised to power 5 and this expand is up to 128 times. So the probability 1 upon 28 that will be 1 upon 32 because 2 raised to power 5 is 32 plus that is 5 upon 32 that is 10 upon 32 that is also 10 upon 32 that is also 5 upon 32 and last one is 1 upon 32. What we have done? That is 1 upon 2, that is 1 upon 32. This is 5, this is also 4 and 1, that is 1, up, one, one upon 2 raised to power 5, so 32. Here 10, 1 by 2 raised to power 3 or 1 by 2 raised to power 2, so this is also 1, one by 2 raised to power 5, so 32 is over there. Similarly in 2 plus 3, that is 5, so 32 is over there. So we are having 1 plus 5 plus 10 plus 5 plus this. So if we want number of items 0 for getting 5 head for getting 5 head 4 head 3 head 2 head 1 head and 0 head so the probability that is 1 by 32 probability 5 by 32 probability is 10 by 32 this is also 10 by 32 this is 5 upon 32 and getting 0 head that is 1 upon 32 so getting all 5 head the probability is 1 by 32. Getting 2 head, getting 4 head, the probability is 5 upon 32. Getting 3 head, the probability is 10 by 32. Getting 2 head, the probability is 10 by 32. Getting 1 head, the probability is 5 by 32. And 0 head, 1 by 32. Now, if we want to calculate expected frequency in 128 times, how many times there will be? So, 128 divided by 32, we are having 4 times. So, expected frequency. Here, 4 times is over there. Because 128 divided by 32, that is 4. Next one, 128 multiply 5 by 32, that is 20. 122 multiply, that is 40. 128 multiplied by 10, that, that is 40. Again, this is 20 and this is 4. How, how we have calculated? First one, learn this. 128 multiply 1 by 32, that is 4. This is 4. Next one is 128 multiply by 5 by 32, that is 20. 
so we are getting this the expectant frequency it is 128 multiply 10 by 32 we are having 40 so that is uh, 10 by 32 40 again like this one 128 multiply 10 by 32 that is also 40 128 multiply by 5 by 32 like this this is 20 and 128 multiply by 1 uh, 132 that is 4 so in this manner we are we can having the expansion of the binomial distribution if question are related to the expansion of the binomial distribution then you have to use this similarly if some questions one more question related to the expansion of binomial distribution suppose this have given we have given 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 raised to power 6 and this number is given again 128. So, we are to given the expansion of suppose this is 256 so there will be some change. There may be 10 to 0. Okay. So, we have we are having another one question. We want to we have to go to the expansion of the binomial distribution. The question is 1024 1 raised to 1 by 2 raised to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 raised to power 6. So as you know p plus q raised to power 6 that is p6 plus 6 p5 q plus 15 p4 q2 1 2. Plus 20 P3 Q3 plus 15 P2 Q4 plus 6 P Q5 and Q6. So that's this is the expansion of the binomial distribution. P P value is decreasing. P6 P5 P4 P3 P2 P1 P0. Q value is increasing. Q0 Q1 Q2 Q3 Q4 Q5 Q6. So, we are having the expansion of this. So, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 raised to power 6 plus 6, 1 by 2 raised to power 5 and this is 1 by 2 plus 15, 1 by 2 raised to power this is 4 and 1 by 2 raised to power 2 plus 20, 1 by 2 raised to power 3, 1 by 2 raised to power all 3 plus 15, 1 by 2 raised to power 2 1 by 2 raised to power 4 plus 6 1 by 2 raised to power 1 1 by raised to power 5 and last one 1 by 2 raised to power 6. As we now the 2 raised to power 6 that is 64. So this will be 1 upon so the getting head getting all 6 head all 5 head okay first one more expansion is out there. So, there will be 1 upon 64 plus 6 upon 64 plus 15 upon 64 plus 20 upon 64 then 15 upon 64 then 6 upon 64 and then 1 upon 64. If you will add this 1 plus 6 7 15 plus 12 20 plus 15 plus 6 plus 1 that is 64 upon 64. So, Getting number of head, number of head is 6, number of head is 5, number of head 4, number of head 3, number of head 2, number of head 1, or number of head 0. So, the probability of that is 1 upon 64, that is 6 upon 64, that is 15 upon 64. For getting 3 head, 20 upon 64, getting 2 head, 15 upon 64, getting 1 head, 6 upon 64 getting 0 head 1 upon 64. So, this is the probability of getting head. Suppose this is head or this is tail. So, probability of head is 1 by 2 probability of tail is 1 by 2. So, getting all 6 head 1 by 64 the probability getting 5 head 6 upon 64 getting 4 head that is 15 upon 64 getting 3 head that is 20 upon 64 getting 2 head that is 15 upon 64 getting 1 head that is 6 upon 64. Now, now expected frequency so the fr expected frequency to, so first one is 
वन बाई सिक्सटी फोर मल्टीप्लाई टेन टू फोर सो टेन टू फोर डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्सटी फोर दैट इज सिक्सटीन नाउ सेकेंड इज सिक्स बाई सिक्सटी फोर मल्टीप्लाई टेन ट्वेंटी फोर सो सिक्सटीन मल्टीप्लाई बाई सिक्स दैट इज नाइंटी सिक्स थर्ड इज सिक्सटीन मल्टीप्लाई बाई फिफ्टीन दैट इज टू हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर्थ वन इज ट्वेंटी मल्टीप्लाई सिक्सटीन दैट इज थ्री ट्वेंटी देन टू फोर्टी देन नाइंटी सिक्स देन सिक्सटीन इफ विल एट दिस सिक्सटीन प्लस नाइंटी सिक्स प्लस टू फोर्टी प्लस थ्री ट्वेंटी प्लस टू फोर्टी प्लस नाइन्टी सिक्स प्लस सिक्सटीन दैट विल बी टेन जीरो टू सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ द बाइनोमल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इफ द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग दैट एक्सपेंड द बाइनोमल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देन इन दिस मैनर यू कैन हैविंग द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द माइनोमल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो आई थिंक विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू मे बी लर्न इफ नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स इफ रिपीटिंग सपोज इन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी आर हैविंग सेवन कॉइंस toss up to 100 256 times how we can get the expected frequency of that sometimes in binomial distribution the question are in this form that expand the binomial distribution so if they ask the expand the binomial distribution then then also you can solve the binomial distribution so i think this video will be helpful for you to get the solution of the binomial distribution we are having some more question in our next video related to the binomial distribution thank you very much